Hey guys and welcome to a video on my channel. Today we will be making an HD skin. I've been doing this for a while now so I think I'm pretty qualified to make HD skins if I do say so myself. So, <laughs> um, when you go on YouTube you can look up other eye tutorials which, you know, just do the eyes or you can actually look up roleplay tutorials which teach you how to roleplay. But for me, I'm gonna teach you how to do all types of HD stuff. Um, right now we're gonna just do eyes because most skins include them. It's kind of like a standard for HD skins. So you can do them from like the most realistic to the most cartoony. Um, really go with any style you want. If you have your own style of drawing eyes, then just go to the yellow square at the top, the where it says front, and then just draw your eyes there. You know, as long as you make it work, do whatever you want. Uh, but if you're not an artist, then let's teach you how to make some eyes, okay? Now, like I just said, the front panel is the yellow portion right here. It's where you'll be making your eyes. Now, uh, let me start by showing you what a regular eyes look like. This is 64 by 64. The eyes look uh, heavily pixelated. They're not really HD'd. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna flip it over since we're here to do HD, not regular. So, yeah, let's just put that there, and, uh, now we can, uh, actually use this as a base. So, this is where our eyes will be placed on the skin. It's a good spot to put eyes if you want to put, um, hair over it on the head layer. So... Yeah, you could just draw your eyes on at this point if you're an artist or you just want to freehand it. Um, so yeah, we can just draw a line, you know, maybe a pupil, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I'm using a mouse instead of my drawing tablet today, so it's not going to look the best if I freehand it. So here we go. Level 1 is semi-HD. I mean... It's still the same shape mostly, but it's partially HD'd. You know, we added some shading, you know, shines. We added a little curve at the top. So I'll teach you how to do this eye first. What we can actually do is uh, show you a 64 by 64 skin. Now what we could do is go and change the size. 64 by 64 is this, but you can also do 124 by 124, which when we change it to the that size, it's gonna blur a bit. But if you start off of that size, it won't look blurry. It's just a, a larger pixelated skin. Then we can do 124 by 124, which is decent. It's for, uh, you know, like still a little pixelated. But then 124 by 124 is what we'll be working on today. And it's what I like to think is it's the nicest looking since you get more detail from it. But uh, we're not going to work on this skin. We're going to go back to my template. Hey guys, this is Future Glex here. So, for the first pair of eyes, the video was actually very laggy, but don't worry, later on, the other eyes still seem fine. But we're just gonna redo the first eyes for you since it's the most important part of the video. Um, so these are the beginning eyes. This is what we made in the video, but we're just gonna redo it. Let's go for, if you come down to where I'm pointing now, this is a, f we're gonna change the brush size to five. You can actually change it on this bar right here. But I like to do around 4 or 5 to keep it thick. If you come down here to the page that I'm at, you can add a new layer above this. Make sure that this layer is transparent, the one that your skin is under. Uh, so yeah, come up to the shape. Check it. Change it from line to curve. This is um, because you're using a mouse and if you have shaky hands, you might not be the best at freehanding it. And then you're going to want to make a quick little curve right here. And now we can go under a layer. Make sure it's under this so that you don't draw over it. Um, come over to this box tool. Zoom in. Highlight from the bottom of the eye to the top of the eye. Go back to your pencil. You can uh, make it any size, big or small. I just like to make it a little bigger here to fill it in. Make sure you turn off shape so that it doesn't do a curve. Because if you keep it on, you'll keep doing the curve line. And then there, now we have that part of the eye. We can make another layer. This time we're going to want to come up here where it says clipping. Check that off. 
change the color to a grayish and go to down to your brushes, change it to airbrush and do something like that. Uh, I like to make it slightly transparent because it's better that way for me. But for you guys, you can leave the shadows harsh or you can leave them extremely light. It's up to you. Uh, we're going to keep it with the yellow eye that we did in the video. Just right there. Although I do think that yellow eyes can get muddy. So for example, if we go like this to get a darker shade. That's kind of muddy. It's it's okay. Um, but I'm going to use like a darker shade of orange. Something like that. Mm, still looks not good, but it's whatever. Technically, when it comes to yellow eyes, I'm never really happy with them. So whatever. Make sure these are on clipping so that they can stay within the area. Because if you don't do clipping, you're going to get it all over. So yeah, just add a new layer above. Make sure you check clicking. And then now we're going to go back to yellow. Grab a really off white color. Lower the opacity a bit. And now we have that. I'm going to merge the layers just for the sake of this video. You can keep them separate, but I'm just going to do it so that we can get things done a little quicker than usual. Now we're going to go back to our brush. Make sure you make another new layer. Don't forget to stop making new layers. Instead of curve, this time we're going to use Eclipse for the shape tool. Then we're going to change our brush size to two. Uh, you can do whatever you want. If anything, you could even make it a square. Because some people do rectangles, but I like to use this. Then we're going to want to, you can click on this blending part, change it from normal to multiply, and it'll just make it darker, and you can do whatever you want. Or if you don't want the multiply, you can leave it as is. Now we can grab our white and add little shines. I like to do 110 and then 15. And then I can grab one right here and do it in the corner. And there we go. We have an HDI that we can merge all together. And then we're going to flip it. But first, I'm going to grab a little eyebrow. So you can add eyebrows to the skin. Technically, the skin looks kind of empty if at it. You can freehand it or not. But if you uh, freehand it, it could end up looking all wonky like mine looks right now. And that looks fine. You can turn off the layer underneath. Adjust it however you want, any position. Make sure you grab your box tool, go from one end of the face to the other. Duplicate it right here, double pages. Come up to layer. Go down to rotate and then click flip horizontally and now you have two sets of eyes and there we go they look a little nicer than my last example <laughs> um which i'm glad they do because i think the i think that the last example looked kind of bad uh the colors i did were a little muddy these look a little bit more improved so whatever yeah now back to past Glex. Now that we're done with level one, we can actually lower the opacity of this. So now we can go to level two, which I think looks a little nicer. It's an improved version of level one. Um, there's a little bit more of a curve. We're gonna make a new layer above this. Go in for our curve, same steps as the last one. We're gonna wanna do five, make sure shape isn't turned on, check on curve, and then do our curve. It's going to be a little bit more curved. And there we are. Once you have your curve, you can move it into place if you went a little too far. Go underneath it. Make a new layer. Change to white. And then grab your box tool. 
Now, you see how I highlighted the shape? It goes a little farther than that, so I'm just going to highlight a bit of the outskirts so that it's a little, a little more complete looking to me. You don't have to do that, but uh, I'm just going to do it for the sake of the video. Now turn off your shape, fill in with white, but make sure to miss the corners. Now that we have our shape, we can go above, add a clipping layer, change to a little gray, go to airbrush, and then airbrush the eye. You can keep it like that, but again, I like to lighten it. Now we have most of our eye done. We can go in, grab half about the distance, half of the distance of the eye. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> And then we can do that, grab a color. This time I'm gonna go with a blue because I think blue eyes pop. And then we are gonna fill it in. Make sure to avoid the corner again, follow, following the same shape that you did with the white. Now we can add another layer, clipping. Grab a darker shade of blue, airbrush that onto the eye. <laughs> Make sure you do a good medium. You don't want it to overpower the regular color. Now grab our lighter shade of blue at the bottom. Uh, we could probably make it a little neater. Uh, add the blue a little darker. Give a little bit more space to the regular color. And then add in our light thing again. Um, yeah, people make mistakes when doing skins. That's why I include my mistakes, because it's never going to be perfect the first time. Uh, it takes a little bit of adjusting sometimes. <clears throat> as long as you're happy with it, it'll work out fine. Change your thing to two and do your eclipse again. Now I think it's dark enough, so I'm just going to lighten it instead of doing the multiply I did with the first pair. And then we can go in and do our top shines. Make sure you have your eclipse tool turned off. For this, the size of the signs don't really matter as much anymore. I like to do a cute little sign shape in the corner of the eye. So I did a heart for the other one. For this one, let's do something like a skull. So we can just do this shape and then we can go and grab our eraser tool and uh, erase some of it like to make the impression that it's a skull. And we could go a step further and do the skull lines. And now we can zoom out. It looks fine as is, but we're going to make it a little transparent. Just so that it's not too overpowering. I think it looks really clean. Um, now for this, we are not going to flip the eye shines. I like to keep the eye shines on the same side mm -hmm. of my eyes usually. I just flipped it for the first one because, you know, it didn't really matter then. But now that we're getting a little more advanced, um, I'm just going to move the shines above the eye, merge the eye together, um, and then we're going to flip it. Now instead of flipping the eye shines, we're just going to drag them over. So duplicate it, grab it, and drag it over to about the same spot. We'll merge it, do the same with the skull. And then we're going to merge that as well. Now, if you go back and look at the previous ones, I think that level two is a huge improvement. So now the final step is to do our eyebrows, which we'll just do a darker blue. And then turn on your shape and do a curve. Now, before I teach you how to do it freehanded, now we're just going to do it curved, and it makes a little bit of a nicer shape than freehanding sometimes, unless you're good at that. Um, and it's a little quicker. There we go. Now we have an eyebrow. I'm going to select transform and then move it around a bit so that it's a little bit of, at an angle that I like a little bit better. Oops. <laughs> Now we're going to go from one end to the other and do the same we did with the eyes. Duplicate, layer, flip. 
there we go. Level 2. I think these eyes look pretty good. But uh, now we have to face level 3. So with these eyes, I think that they're the most um, obvious of a difference from the beginning. You put the most work into making them a little more realistic than before. We're going to turn on the eyes below, make those transparent again, and then make a new layer. And now we're going to start off. So I'm just going to turn on my shape, do my curve. And do a quick curve. I usually do these type of eyes free-handed, but since we're using a mouse, we're gonna go with a curve. And then you're gonna go down and finish off that shape. Now we're gonna erase the ends of the eyes to make them a little more thin and less thick looking, but we still want the thickness on the inside. Just at the ends we want it a little more thin. And now we're going to change to a pen fade in fade out tool, turn off shape, and freehand some eyelashes. We could erase whatever goes into the bottom part and then do some more. So since the shape is less traditional, we're going to have to do another curve. And then after you can go in and fill that in. Now make another layer, set it to clipping, and do your gray again your eyeshadow. I like to make it lighter again and now we can do our color. So let's do pink this time or a magenta kind of color. We could probably freehand the shape. It takes a little bit to finesse it, make it like you know perfect. But yeah I think that's pretty fine. Then we can clip it Grab a darker shade. I do a little bit more shading for these. Because now we're going to grab an even darker shade. And do it a little bit higher than the first one. Then grab your regular shade. Grab a lighter shade. Click a few times at the bottom. And there we go. We have some solid blending there. <laughs> now another step is to make another layer. Change it to like a off-white. And do some little shines at the bottom. And then you can leave it like that. But I make it transparent. Because I don't want it to pop too much. Compared to the other shines I'm going to do. And then we can merge it. You can keep it separate if you want. Now we're going to grab. A really dark color at the top of the eye. So that it's just in the same color family. And then. Do our curve. Uh, that's too high. That's good. And now we have our eye practically done at this point. The last step would be to add in our shines, which we will do now. We can do this with the airbrush tool to make it a little less um, vibrant. Well, a little softer, I like to say. And now we are done with our HDI. Though, in all honesty, we could probably drag this above that. In all honesty, there's one last step I really want to try out. So let's go to the bottom of the eye. After we merge, let's go to the bottom of the eye. And let's grab a, a bright pink, let's say. Airbrush, make it a little bigger, still not that big, and boom, let's add some eyeshadow to the eye. But uh, let's add some blending to that as well, some purple at the ends. Mm. We could probably transparent that a little bit so it's a little closer, and now we can merge it. Uh, if it comes out a little bit in a spot that you don't want it to be, or it's a little bit of a wrong shape, or too much, you can move it around. And then you could grab a smudge tool and just smudge it back in. I think the top is a little too big, so I'm just going to smudge it down a bit. So yeah, we have some eyeshadow. Now we can do our eyebrow, which we'll just do a shade of pink. Uh, use our curve tool again because it's easier with mouse. And do our eyebrow shape. You could do any type of eyebrow shape, any type of eye shape. Um, you'd... 
it's really better if you do experiment with the shapes you do because you don't want to have same face syndrome. So let's just fill that in. And there, it looks pretty clean. It looks better than the example I honestly. Uh, but the example I just did in a rush. So this one's a little more softer. So let's highlight everything and flip it over. The only thing we did not flip is the eye shine, which we will drag over so that stay so they stay on the same side. Put it in about the same spot. Uh, that's good. And there we have our final set of eyes, level three. These are the uh, most HD that I've done. This is the current type of eyes that I make. Yeah, you could do any type of shape with these and get the same type of results. Um, I really think they look clean and yeah, uh, so let's add some details, you know, like you can add any type of details to your eye. I think adding some birth marks makes it look a little nicer. Um, yeah, level one, no HD, beginner HD, you know, the first, uh, let's put that back to normal. Uh, these are still really nice. Um, they're pretty good um and then the top is the uh, most hd that you can get or at least with this as i've shown you before you can have super hyper realistic eyes or you can have them in any different style there there are people who have styles that are different this to this so yeah do whatever you feel these are the most beginner friendly so if you want to start with these go for it but if you feel comfortable with doing any of the top two, you know, like experiment with it, have fun. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you want to see more, I was thinking about doing hair, clothes. Um, I was even thinking about remaking old skins that I've done, or honestly, even remaking some of your skins into HD and showing you how to do the process. Honestly, we'll probably do hair next and we'll probably do clothes last. As you can see, clothes are probably the a majority of the skin and probably the hardest part. So maybe I could divide clothes up. Um, honestly, let me know what you want. Do you want clothes all in one video or do you want like top first, then shoes separately or something like that? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, if you look up here, you'll see the color code. I'll link this template in the description. Uh, it's something that really helps out with skins. I use it a lot. I made it myself. Um, like I said, we're going to do hair next. Honestly, I could probably show you a sneak peek of what my hair looks like. This is my style. Uh, yeah. So yeah, if you want to stick around, consider subscribing. Leave a like below and let's, let's have some fun with it. Hope you guys continue to make amazing skins and never give up. No matter what level of experience you are, you can always make something beautiful. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.